Hey folks, Frostbite Vinny here with another tutorial for you today, and this will be part four. And what I'm doing today is, uh, if you recall from part three, if you watched part three, this path that I had here that I uh, edited down to make considerably shorter, the uh, the uh, animation, the swings were pretty wild, and I'll show you that right now when I'm talking about what I'm going to do today is show you how to ease those wild transitions. Let's fast forward to this. You see it's zing, zing, zing. It's just kind of going wild. It's going to go over this hill instead of following the path. See that there? And it's going to skim the top of this hill, which I don't want. And it's going to just zigzag back and forth. And I want to ease those transitions, and I'm going to show you how to do that today. Actually, before I get too far, what I want to do too is I want to get down to a lower altitude. If you go to Tools and Options, uh, go to Touring tab. I think that's Part Two. Uh, I'm at 250 meters now, 78 degrees. We can change this to 75. My tilt angle, 75 decimal. And let's change this to <clears throat> about 170. That seemed to work pretty well the last time. 170, apply and OK. That's just uh, for demonstration purposes. Let's uh, look at that. Let's play that animation again. Zoom down. See we're a little lower. Kind of fast forward through this. And you see it's going to clip the top of this hill right here. No, I guess it didn't. It's going to clip the top of this hill. That kind of got a weird, weird uh, animation to it. It's herky-jerky. I want to smooth that out. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Let's bring this back to where we started. Close our player out. Let's zoom in. And what I'm going to do is, uh, if, if you uh, remember part one, if you watch part one, if not, go there and I'll explain some of these processes. Uh, just go to your little ruler here and we're going to create an additional path. Let's select path. And we're going to try and ease these transitions and we're also going to try and go around these hills a little bit more. So we're going to create an additional path. And actually, what I want to do, too, is I want to, just for my comfort's sake, I'm going to tilt this so it's just easier to work with for me. <laughs> Move this out of the way. Okay. So let's just start creating a path. I'm just going to kind of parallel this, but instead of going... On that path, I'm going to uh, go outside of it, and I'm going to try and ease these transitions. And hopefully still following the path. And this was kind of one troubled area, so I want to swing out a little bit more wide. Hopefully not too wide. We'll see in a second how well it does. I can bring myself kind of back in closer to the original path. Stop. Boom, boom. Boom. I'm going to make a... Let's swing out a little bit more wide. So hopefully we can stay on this original path. Over. Now we can just go straight in. And we can kind of follow our path a little bit better. And let's see, what should we do here? What should we do here? Got that sharp corner. Let's uh, just make this more straight.
then we're going to kind of zigzag through. Now we can uh, now we can just go straight and straight and straight. Okay, there's an additional path there. Now we're going to save that. And I'm going to call that path measure, let's go 1, O-N-E. And I want to change the color so we can differentiate between the two. Red is the default, for whatever reason. Change it to green. We'll be able to see both easily. So now you can see where it is. I also want to move this path measure 1 into my places so that Google Earth crashes. We won't have an issue. So let's play this additional path and let's see <clears throat> if I did a good job or a crappy job. Kind of fast forward through this a little bit. It's still a bit herky-jerky, but not as bad. You can see it's kind of following my original path. So now it's going to make this corner a little bit better. Gonna zoom up, zoom around. So that's how you smooth out the transitions. I probably could have done a lot better job, but just for demonstration purposes, you get the idea. I think you get it. Uh, and if that doesn't work, you can always uh, go in and create another path. Why are you going outside there? Create another path. And, you know, to further smooth these transitions, you can kind of parallel your path measure one and kind of parallel that and just smooth these transitions out and play that and see what works best. You can create as many paths as you want and you can always uh, change the color, obviously, <clears throat> so that it's purdy. Don't need to do another one. So that is the only solution I could come up with to play this path and smooth out those transitions. Couldn't find a setting anywhere and manipulating the altitudes and whatnot, speeds, didn't help. So, <clears throat> hope that was helpful. I hope that was informative. And uh, what else? I don't know what else. Hope that was helpful. Hope that was informative. Um, I'm having fun learning this because it's, oh, it's up to, is that up to 20 now? Oh my gosh. 20 degrees. I can go outside and not freeze my toes off. Anyways, thank you very much for watching my video. If you made it this far, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel so that I can uh, stop ads on my channel. Um, I don't like ads. You don't like ads. I'm not making any money off of it. So once I reach a thousand subscribers, I will shut up because then I can disable ads. So, all right. Thank you very much. Bye.